Hey, this is Brian Barletta, and this is Sounds Profitable for Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. Sounds Profitable, two years later. This episode is sponsored by Claritas. Claritas transforms multi-touch measurement with the release of its Attribution 3.0 solution. Find out more at claritas.com. C-L-A-R-I-T-A-S dot com. Sounds Profitable is two years old this month. I take a moment to talk about just how far we've come in 24 short months and where we're headed next as we continue to serve our mission to push podcasting forward and set the course for the future of the audio business. My goal when I started Sounds Profitable two years ago was simple, to freely share my knowledge of the business and technical sides of the podcast industry with as many people as possible, to help them grow their career and the careers of those on their teams to enable more people to make their career in the business side of podcasting. Today, as I take stock of what we built, I realize it's not always clear what Sounds Profitable actually does or how we do it. With the team expanding, our partnerships growing, and now over 7,000 of you receiving Sounds Profitable every week and almost 400 of you receiving the podcast every week, I thought I'd spend today walking you all through it to make sure we're serving you the best we possibly can and invite you further into what we're building. Everything has been moving so fast in the past two years that I hope by taking a moment to share with you who we are, what we do, we can create something really amazing together in the years to come. So let's dive into each of the parts that make up Sounds Profitable. Peerless Advisory Services. It's incredibly important for me to start off by sharing with you that Tom Webster and I have never taken any outside funding for Sounds Profitable, nor have we taken any equity, board seats, or commission opportunities from any company we work with and we don't plan to. We do this because neutrality is critically important to us if we're to fulfill our goal of being able to work with everyone in and around the podcasting industry in our quest to help grow both the audience and monetization opportunities for everyone. Recently, we revised what we used to call sponsorship into something better suited to describe how things work at Sounds Profitable, partnership. Each of the companies listed at the bottom of our newsletter and website receive the same treatment that Tom and I would provide if we were an equity advisor. In exchange for their support, those companies in partnership with us get access to our monthly consulting, warm introductions, an active Slack channel, access to our live events, and our monthly webinars. Tools we provide to help grow the podcast industry far past current projections. We're proud to list the logos of over 100 companies we work with every month, and we'd love to have you on board as well. Insightful content. We don't break news. We're not journalists. We're focused and set on educating and empowering each of you to grow this industry directly, sharing our insights and the insights of others, and ideally providing it in a way that enables you to take action. Content to be shared with your clients or internal teams, content to build on top of to allow your company's unique point of view to shine while anchoring around a neutral concept. Our newsletter is our most successful outlet, and we're incredibly proud of it. Primarily, it's written by Tom Webster and myself, but we have and will continue to put in considerable effort in highlighting people you should know and the knowledge they share with you. We take that further with our podcast, releasing two to three times per week, a narrated version of each week's article, our bi-weekly interviews with the best and brightest in the space, helping us break down complex topics and why they're important, and a major passion project for us, the download, the most important news from this week and why it matters to the people in the business of podcasting, brought to you in a 10-minute episode every Thursday. We round it all up with our product deep dives. It's no secret that I'm obsessed with technology, so I jump at every opportunity I can to walk you through how a product works, why it's important to our industry, and how you can put it to good use. This year alone, we covered new features from Claritas, Thought Leaders, Adori Labs, Triton Digital, Libsyn's AdvertiseCast, and Veritone Voice. And later this year, we'll have more learnings from Veritonic, Frequency, Artsai, Soundstack, and Adthos. Industry-leading research. Neutral and unbiased research raises the bar for everyone by enabling those that can run their own studies to compare it to a benchmark, and those that can't to utilize respected data to justify their point of view. There is no one in the podcast industry better suited to create industry-leading research than Tom Webster, formerly of Edison Research, who joined me just four months ago as my equal and partner to accomplish this goal. I have spent my entire career consuming every bit of data and piece of content that Tom Webster has put out. It inspired me to create Sounds Profitable. It had helped me justify our business while working at Barometric and Claritas and Megaphone. And the model of providing it freely and openly through support by companies that share a vision is how we grow the entire industry. 
We kick things off with the creators and look into who are the podcasters in the U.S. population and have since started our quarterly research project. After these messages premiered in Q3 2022, comparing hosts versus announcer at ads, and we're proud to announce we'll have a part two in October titled, We'll Be Right Back. In Q4, we tackle the latest topic on everyone's mind, brand safety and suitability. Created in collaboration with Edison Research, all this is possible and freely available thanks to the support of SXM Media, BetterHelp, Barometer, Audiohook, Wondery, NPR, Mopod, and Veritone. Unmissable events. Nearly 300 people from our over 100 partners joined us at the Sounds Profitable Business Leaders Summit this past August at Podcast Movement. We came together, discussed important topics such as video, measurement, and programmatic, presented our latest research, and provided ample time for all of you to network and do business together. Because that's our primary goal with these events, to make as many connections as possible between all of you without charging you anything additional to participate outside of partnership. Our goal is to provide these events tied to major podcasting, media, advertising, and creator events every quarter to help further justify why we all need to be in attendance, representing podcasting, and candidly talking about the issues we face and how we can collaboratively provide this space in a private environment. Because we know that not everyone at our partner companies can make it out to these events, we've created our monthly webinar, Sounds Profitable Unplugged, touching on similar topics, research, and education, and open to every single employee at every single partner company we work with. We'll have more details shortly for our Q4 live event and our October Sounds Profitable Unplugged very shortly, along with big announcements coming for our 2023 events. Wrapping it up, I am incredibly lucky to be able to do what I do. I spend every day booked to the gills and meetings, consulting with many of you and meeting even more of you. And I wouldn't trade that for the world. I get to learn from each of you about what you're working on and how it helps the podcast industry. At the same time, I get to help you with my expertise and connect you with the others in the space that you can build strong relationships with. And from that, I can see the pulse of the space, the issues we're all facing, and it enables us to, without breaking confidence, write actionable insights or design research studies that enable those of you that we don't work directly with to still conquer the problems all of us face. Tom and I are dedicated to setting the course for the future of the audio business, and that means that the company has to become bigger than either of us. Two years ago, Sounds Profitable was effectively a blog. Today, it's everything you read above. Tomorrow, with your help, it'll be much more. Thanks again for listening to my article, Sounds Profitable Two Years Later. This episode was built using Spooler and hosted on Omni Studio by Triton Digital. 